let's solve these two simultaneous equation graphically okay so you have learned previously might be you have learned how to solve simultaneous equation using algebra so we're going to use uh, graphs uh, to solve this equation or simultaneous equation so this is y is equal to x plus 3 and 2y plus x is equal to 3 so we're going to do two methods one is called the gradient intercept method for equation 1 and this is the cover up method for equation 2 so the gradient intercept method so let me write the equation again y is equal to x plus 3 I can write this as 1 over 1 x plus 3 so this is a gradient and this is your y intercept so just looking at the equation I can say your y intercept is 3 so that's where your starting point is now from 3 you have to go 1 up and 1 across so 1 over 1 is same as saying 2 over 2 so you can go if you go 2 up you can go 2 across 1 over 1 can also be 3 over 3 so if you go 3 up you have to go 3 across and this is a line so this is your first line so let me draw the line so this is the equation the equation of this line is y is equal to x plus 3 okay I'll repeat 1 over 1 means you go 1 up 1 across 1 over 1 is same as saying 2 over 2 that means you go 2 up 2 across or you can go 3 up and 3 across and that's the equation of a line for the second equation I'm going to write this as same as x plus 2y is equal to 3 so I'm going to use the cover-up method so let me cover this up so let me uh, draw a rectangle okay and then color it okay and properties and then I want to cover it so if you cover x you're only looking at 2y so you're asking 2y is equal to 3 2y is equal to 3 2 times y is 3 so dividing both sides by 2 y is 1.5 so this is your y intercept just like that your graph is passing through 1.5 uh, 1.5 would come here so y intercept is here okay am I doing something wrong no uh, yes okay oh sorry I made a mistake the y intercept is 1.5 this is right and the x-intercept okay now to find the x-intercept you have to cover y so let us cover y what is that you can see I can see x is equal to 3 so x is equal to 3 so this is your x-intercept x is equal to 3 so this is your x-intercept so x-intercept is here so this is your y-intercept and this is your x-intercept and then graph it okay so if you graph it where is it intersecting that's your answer so the question is where are these two graphs intersecting so well the point that you can see is this point and this is, seems to be this is negative 1 comma 2 this point seems to be negative 1 comma 2 so your answer is when x is negative 1 y should be 2 okay so let's put this and see whether it works if you go if you put negative 1 here negative 1 plus 3 is 2 and if you put put this here 2 times y that is 2 times 2 is 4 4 plus negative 1 is 3 so this answer is right okay so let's do the next question okay so let me erase this so this is I want you to do this yourself if you can so let me delete this and this you can pause the video and try to do this yourself 
Okay, so yeah, what is the equation telling me? This is in the gradient intercept form, so this is y is equal to negative 1 over 1 x plus 4. So what is your starting point? Your starting point is 4, and you're going 1 down and 1 across. This top number tells me you're going 1 down, and the bottom number tells me you to go 1 across. 1 down, 1 across. So if you go 2 down, you have to go 2 across. If you go 3 down, 1, 2, 3 down, you have to go 3 across. So this is a negative gradient, so this is the line. Okay, so let me make it better. Join the dots, so this is a straight line. Okay, and the equation of this line is y is equal to negative x plus 4. Now using the cover-up method, I'll do this faster. Cover up y. So what can you see? 2x is equal to 10. So what is x? x is 5. So x is 5. So x intercept is 5 here. And if you cover up x, what can you see? y is equal to 10. So y is equal to 10 is here. And what are you getting? Let's draw the line. Okay, so I'll have to find, make it better. Let's join this properly. This is, seems to be a neat point. So this is a point of intersection. So this point is 6 comma negative 2. We need to confirm whether this works. So we are saying for both this equation, when x is 6, y has to be negative 2. So let's put, if you put this in 6 in place of this equation, this equation is y is equal to negative 6 plus 4, which is negative 2. So that's, that's true for this equation. Let's put it in this equation and see what happens. Let's put this in this equation. So we are saying y plus 2, x should be 10. So your y is negative 2 plus 2 times x is 12 is equal to 10. So that's also right. So this is the point of intersection. And this is how you can solve simultaneous equation using graphs.